Lots of automatists have done wave machines in one form or another. This is my contribution to the genre. The greens and the reds are at war, but unfortunately, or fortunately, they never seem to see each other, so they can't do much damage. There are two mechanisms at work here. The waves doing wave-like things, and the subs alternately going up and down. There are two crankshafts, each with three wave cams on it. The shafts have crank arms on each end, which are tied together with side rods, one on each side. In order to work properly, the arms on either ends of the shafts are set 90 degrees out from one another, like the side rods on a locomotive. There are three waves. Each is a piece of painted plywood. Each wave is controlled by two eccentric cams, one in each shaft. The cams are set at different angles on their shafts to give the wave a rocking motion, and all three waves are set out of phase with one another so they rock individually. Each wave is connected to its cams with eccentric sheaves made of wire. These spring into place in grooves in the cams. Thus the cam can rotate within the sheave. The mechanism for the subs is controlled by an additional eccentric cam on one of the shafts. This also has a wire sheave on it connected to a pivoted lever that rises and falls. On the end of this arm is a pawl made of wire that engages a ten-tooth ratchet. On the back side of the ratchet is a crank pin that actuates another pivoted lever, this one made of wire. This second arm operates a two-arm parallel motion device. The arms of this device are pivoted in the middle, with half of each arm being on one side of the central column and half on the other, so that the arms rock back and forth like a seesaw. It's to these arms that the subs are attached, one on each side. The ratchet gives the subs a jerky motion, while the waves have a smooth motion. Like most of my automata, this one can be taken almost completely apart for maintenance or repair. The top is held on by dowels and can be easily removed. Crank arms are attached to their shafts with removable pins. The ratchet shaft is also held in place by a removable pin. The eccentric sheaves that hold the waves will just snap off their cams. The pylons holding the crank shafts are screwed on from the bottom of the box and can be removed if necessary. The subs are just press fitted onto their posts and come right off. This was a fun piece to build and it provides a lot of action.